Hello everybody, thank you for coming today. Yeah? I'm going to be here showing how to cook a delicious risotto uh, using a beautiful mortadella from Milani and a risotto and another simple ingredients like olive oil, onion and some basic, very very basic ingredients to make it easy. As you can see all the ingredients are here, very simple, we got the rice, aquarello, we got the mortadella here that has been minced and in the crumbled in studio crumbles, we got onions, we got parmigiano, we got some pistachios, and then we got some pistachios mixed with the mortadella, a little bit of cream. So very simple procedure. How we're gonna make the risotto? It's a different way. It's not the normal way that you would do it. Okay, my oil is ready. First of all, I use oil and not butter to make sure that the risotto gets really light. And not, and not that heavy because that's the problem with the risotto, it's very heavy. Yeah. And we can do that using an excellent quality of rice like Bacorelli. So I put my onions in the pan, but I'm sweating out with my olive oil, nice and easy, very slowly. I'm going to let the onions stir up. Very, very easy. Yes. And I've got my lovely stock ready made, as you can see, freshly made stock with vegetables, some chicken, and it's black meat. Now, how to make the risotto in a simple way, and not without the use of butter? First of all, we have to use a specific rice, in this case we're using a corella, and then add a simple ingredient. So, now I'm sweating off my onion. And once the onion sweat off, all I have to do is just add the, the rice inside and add my stock. And that's it. And step one is very easy. Once I have my stock, all I need to do is just let it boil without doing any toasting, anything else, which would normally happen with the traditional way of making risotto. So, my onion is getting really ready. But this rice is a rice carnaroli. It's one of the top Italian quality of rice to make risotto. So now also the stock is ready. Nice and hot, need to be. The boiling temperature, really nice smell, yeah, like homemade kind of risotto. Now, what is the ingredients? Basically, is each person normally you consider 100 grams of rice. So for 100 grams of rice, you have to consider 350 grams of stock. So 100 grams of rice, 350 grams of stock. And approximately about 50 grams or 60 grams of this mortadella to add at the end to make the, the final recipe. So I keep doing my... Onion is ready, the stock is getting to boil. Bear with me another couple of minutes and we'll move on. I'm getting a little bit dry now because of the onion. Also because I'm missing mama. Actually, by the way, we are here in Taiwan, live and selected from Taiwan for you. So, moving on around the world. To promote good Italian food, Milani products, and all other food ingredients that you find around in Italy. Okay, my stock is boiling. So now, look at the color of this rice. Nice. So I put it on. I just stir it. I'm not going to toast it. And I'll just go ahead with my stock. I put my stock in. Nice and easy. Switch on my, give more power to my induction cooker. Because I need to bring the nice to boil. Okay, guys, as you can see now, it's start boiling. I want to reach a good level of boiling, so make sure that the, the rice doesn't slowly, you know, cook. It must have a nice, good heat. There we go. More power, maximum power, reduction. By the way, my stock, I also had a glass of wine just because normally you always give a little back taste of wine in the risotto. 
so I have it directly in the stock. So I can smell it. There is a lot of nice white wine Pinot Grigio I use in this case from Venetia region. Okay, now I start boiling. So I'll be back with you in one minute. See ya. Okay, we're back. Now, basically, our result has been heating, boiling, full steam, all right? So now, it's nearly there. So what I do now, I take my Milani mortadella from Bologna. Bologna EGP mortadella, the original stuff. It has been nice and minced and a little crumbles. And I place it inside the result. And then this way, the mortadella will release all the aromas and the taste to the, to the result. As you can see, I mix and it come forward. Come and see. Oh, it looks so sexy. Look at that. Wow. Yes, baby. Come on. Oh, now we start. I'm gonna finish it to reduce slowly, stirring and stirring with my wooden spoon. Make sure it doesn't get stuck to the pan. As you can see now, it's getting nice and creamy, all right? And that's what I want. I want to make it nice and creamy because the risotto must be creamy. But the great thing is normally that with the risotto you put butter to get this effect. In this case, using this great rice at Corello, we don't need butter, all, just olive oil. So, it's gonna be basically, in terms of calories, the risotto will, have, will maintain more or less the same calories that we would have as a boiled rice which is approximately 350 calories per 100 grams of rice. Oh, here it's coming now. So then, what I'm gonna do now? This is normally the risotto process for the mantecatura, where I normally used to put the parmigiano reggiano, has been grated, and the butter. But as again, no butter. So I'm gonna do my mantecatura only adding the parmigiano reggiano. Then I place inside. Oh, nice, nice, getting really exciting. Look at this. Wow. So basically now I'm gonna stir it for another minute and then I'm gonna let it rest for about five minutes in order that the risotto you know picks up the, all this creamy and glutiny kind of uh, look and feel. Okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on, put it on. And that's it. I'm gonna switch off my pot. So now, five minutes from now, I'll be back and we're gonna finish it. See ya. Okay, we are back. So our rice has been resting for the last five minutes. So I take the top off. As you can see, it's nice and steamy. Oh, and look at the cream that is made. It. Oh, this is the cheese and the olive oil and the mortadella. Wow, it's amazing. So now that my result is ready. So I can think about serving the risotto now. So I take my spoon, take my dish, and I put it in the, in the plate. And then I finish it, a touch of black pepper. A spoon of the mortadella that has been mixed with the pistachio cream. A crumble of pistachio to make it like some a little bit of chunkiness inside. And that's it. Ready to go. Thank you for being with us. Enjoy our recipe and enjoy our products. Evviva Villani, Evviva l'Italia. See ya.